Smartphones are widely used in people's daily lives for things such as social networking, online shopping, automated home control, and entertainment. Due to their mobility and ever-expanding capabilities, there has been an exponential growth of smartphone users over the world in recent years. Android, an open source and customizable operating system, is currently dominating the smartphone market. Android attracts not only developers producing legitimate applications, but also attackers to disseminate malware onto unsuspecting users to disrupt mobile operations. You can download apps from Google Play or some other third-party markets such as Opera Mobile Store. Many apps are benign, however, in a stroke of bad luck, you may run into one that is malicious. According to Symantec's recent report, one in every five Android apps are malware. If you become infected with a malicious app, it may steal your money from your online bank account, send SMS messages without your permission, push ads, or install unwanted apps on your smartphone. Worse yet, you could be infected with ransomware, making your phone useless until you pay to have it unlocked. Ransomware infections have greatly increased in the past year. To protect yourself from being attacked by Android malware, the current defense is the use of mobile security products which tend to rely on signature-based detection to recognize threats. Attackers can use techniques such as code obfuscation or repackaging to avoid such detection. The increasing sophistication of Android malware requires new defensive techniques that are harder to evade. Hendroid is a more resilient system that helps protect your smartphone against Android malware attacks and novel threats. In Hendroid, we extract the API calls from Android apps. API calls are used to access operating system functions and system resources. Therefore, the APIs can be used to represent the behaviors of Android apps, just like we can use different kinds of behaviors to differentiate people. We not only extract the APIs, but further analyze the relationships among them. We find that API calls which belong to the same package show similar intent. For example, API calls in the HTTP package are related to internet connection. API calls in the I.O. file package are related to reading and writing files. In addition to coexistence in a package, we also analyze whether the extracted API calls belong to the same code block. A code block is defined as the code between the dot method and the dot end method in the decompiled Smalley files. We also examine whether API calls use the same invoke method. To represent such rich semantics of relationships, we introduce a structured heterogeneous information network, or HIN, to depict apps and APIs since HIN is able to handle different types of entities and relations. Relations between APIs and apps and different types among apps can introduce higher level semantics and require more effort for attackers to evade detection. In the constructed HIN, we have two types of entities, Android apps and API calls, and three types of relations. In this way, similarities over Android apps can be defined by different metapaths, and those metapaths can be automatically weighted by a multi-kernel learning algorithm and then used for Android malware detection. If you are interested in further details, please check out our paper at KDD 2017.